So we're at the farm. Got some bags of cocks ready to get going. Some new Great Pyrenees little pups. Little pups for now. <laughs> Fellas. Everybody's building away. We got a new pair of turkeys. I have to say I'm excited about wild turkeys. Look at them strutting. Did you hear him drum just then? Mm -hmm. Like boom. That's something real. Yeah, whenever if you listen when he does that, it'll drum real deep. Awesome. And we got yeah. some real pretty Put roosters. And John wanted a pheasant. So we got a pheasant. We just put up some more fencing. We got a new dog pen over there. They're carrying the fencing on around. So plenty of good stuff. John's coming back with some more equipment for us. <laughs> Cody's gonna get hit. So we just got back from uh, uh, the flea market. It's about a 30 minute drive probably. And uh, you never know what they're gonna have. You go in, sometimes they got cows and pigs and all kinds of stuff. And sometimes you go in and they got, you know, like Nothing. flea market bullshit. Um, so the chickens, we got four or five birds per bag here. And the way you move them is just in onion sacks, potato sacks, or burlap bags. They use these because they're the cheapest. and. Uh, we save them because a lot of times when you go buy more birds, they won't have the bags and they want to charge you five bucks a bag. So we'll save these bags, take them with us next time we go to the flea market in case we need them. And uh, chickens go through a molt and they'll lay a bunch of eggs and then they molt and it takes a bunch of energy and a bunch of feed input for them to get through that molt. And then they're kind of on their, their downside of their life cycle. So at that point, they're perfect uh, candidates for chicken dinner or uh, chicken and dumplings or soup or you know whatever you want to do with them we've been letting ours go but now with the new year um, we've brought in fresh birds and we're setting up a whole nother flock here we'll still keep some at the shop until we've moved here so that we can use eggs for our breakfast but our hopes are to produce way more eggs than we can possibly use and be able to give them to all of our employees and then eventually have an overage that we can just sell or you know grape to friends or whatever um, you already showed them all the, the, new, stuff. the new stuff um, yeah so we're just gonna we're just putting on the common wall of this uh, goat pen. We're just setting up a uh, chicken coop here out of uh, combo panels, hog panels, you know, pig panels, whatever you want to use. We use the combo because it's smaller and the little animals can't get out and the uh, goats don't get their head stuck. So um, we just put a, a coop, um, a 10 by 10 dog run inside. We're going to tarp it, put a pole in the middle, and that'll give them some shelter up high in there. We're going to put a bunch of perches so they can roost at night. And we're put some nest box and they'll lay their eggs and they're easier to find we they tend to lay you know 70 percent of their eggs in there it's still an easter egg hunt <laughs> but out here we don't care fucking we're, we're making enough eggs at this point now that we don't need them and uh when we find a nest of eggs that's been abandoned or, or we're not sure about them we just scramble them up and feed them back to the birds anyways or to the dogs and uh we got a couple new pups and um this, this goes a lot faster. Like this would take Cody and I four or five hours to do the first time we did it. But we just pulled a bunch of dudes rather than going to the gym, bring them out here and uh, set this pin up. And within less than an hour, we'll have this all ready to go. We'll have all the animals in and by nighttime, they'll be settled to food, water, and uh, everybody will be settling in. So, and I got Colin a turkey. Two turkeys. Huge. You hear him drumming? Dude, this is the coolest thing. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. I like the dog. All right, Uncle Lance here behind the camera, the farmyard. John's gonna. Oh, uh, okay. So this is what we got. This is all done. These guys had this shit set up in about 30 minutes. I went and got some zip ties, came back. They were done. Um, fucking awesome job. We just used the common wall, came around. We've got all the birds in place now. We got to get a tarp, put the nest boxes in place. And then uh, we'll expand this out later. Um, when we got more time, we'll make this pen a little bit bigger. But we've got a lot of room you can see up there to go. We're gonna use a dozer, move all that pile out, move the rabbits over here, and we're gonna put most of the animals up here. And uh, we can just rotate them into different paddocks as we need to. So our card's about dead because uh, Colin didn't wipe it like I told him to. And um, he's rolling his eyes. We're gonna go back and eat lunch. <laughs> and uh, this is our new guy, Josh. Josh and the crew. Let's go eat.